If you guys are looking for a cheap and reliable place to get your FIFA 16 Ultimate Team coins, check the link in the description and use the code ETANI to get 5% off. Well, that's a moment for at least the fans to treasure. They've seen their team score today, but not too much in the grand scheme of things, is it? No, they realise that the... Now the shot! And that's a brilliant Look goal. At that. well, Look how it. lucky he is, man. That's so fucking bullshit. Look at that, man. And that's flown past the Look, keeper before he really could react. Oh, my God, man. That is ridiculous. I have to say, it's so one-sided today, but all credit to the team. Up the goals. Would you consider that lucky? I mean, I did score five goals against the opponents, but I don't know. Uh, that last goal, you could say it was luck, but I don't know, because Bolassi, it does take skill to dribble past the whole team and then finish it at the end of, of a player that has 70 finishing. Anyway, make sure you check out G2A. The link will be in the description if you're looking to buy PSN cards or Microsoft points to get ready for Team of the Year. So, Bolassi is the sort of player you could expect uh, that is going to be very, very sweaty in very sweaty uh, teams. And I have to say, his pace, his sk five-star skill moves, his weak foot, I think, is as deadly as his right foot. Both, uh, you'll see a couple of uh, shots from outside the penalty area go in with his left foot. So that's how uh, amazing it is. And I don't think he even has a four-star weak foot. I would go as far as saying he has a five-star weak foot just because of how perfect he hits it and it ends up in the back of the net numerous times in the video. Um, one thing you will notice is that he might look a bit more stiff, but that's because of the new EA patch that they've released um, a couple of days ago. So it nerfed... Uh, basically no touch dribbling and it also uh, made f passing a lot less frustrating so with 70 passing on Balassi I didn't feel that he needed any more than that he made all the passes uh, correctly and he can sort of play in the center attack and mid roll but I would still recommend him as a striker with instructions stay central and get in behind because this guy is around six foot one six foot so he's pretty tall he can get you headers in and five star skills just crazy i mean for skillers if you want to dribble this guy fits a lot of play styles if you want to take long shots he has very high shot power but a bit uh, i would say long shots is a bit on the low side in the 70s but he did manage to sort uh, like you know still score me long shots so it really depends on what sort of player you're going for but for a striker he's a very very balanced card that well let's not talk about his balance because that's pretty low as well i think it's like in the 50s or something but he does win you a lot of penalties because of how agile he is and how quick he moves is just pretty sick but another thing that i want to let you guys know is it takes center backs a long time to get him off the board because this guy is actually pretty damn strong and you'll see a gameplay clip somewhere towards the end where one of the best center backs in the game just takes ages to get him off the board because of how tricky you can be with Bolassi, the dribbling, the skills, just everything about him, how strong he is, you could try and battle your way into the penalty area. Just everything about him screams out Ibarbo from the last FIFA with the five star skills, of course. Just pace abusing actually kind of still works with the new patch. Um, on the sideline, the, the through balls are a lot more overpowered now with the patch. Um, but overall, what you, what you will see in the whole video is me basically taking the whole team on with Balassi and still proving that sprint dribbling is still very, very overpowered. Even when EA nerfed it, it's still disgusting with this player right here. So... I don't think he has any cons, honestly. I played quite a lot of games. This guy makes the game a lot more fun to play. And uh, overall, you're going to have a lot of fun. And as soon as you put him in your team, you are going to feel how effective he is and how much of a change he brings towards your team. Now, finishing is 70, but I actually am going to go as far as saying his finishing was better than Vardy. I could break a cod. And that guy has higher finishing than him. I don't know what is about Bolassi. It seems a lot of his stats really don't make sense. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, let me know in the comment section below who would you like me to review next. Bolassi is going to get a perfect score. Makes the game fun. 10 out of 10.